you know, I don't really get mini trucking. It's a very weird thing. But then watching Roadkill do their like wild and wacky sort of things, it, it kind of makes me a little bit more excited to do this. So I looked a little bit more into it. This is a couple that uh, he's done himself. Now, these ones by Finnegan are a lot more in line with what I imagine mini trucks to be. Also, I want to point out one no annoying little thing when trying to research this topic is whenever I look at mini trucks, the most annoying thing is, is they confuse them or conflate them with K trucks. K trucks and mini trucks are two very different things. Now, yes, I know that mini trucking is really a thing in like the 80s, 90s sort of time period, but I wanted to give it a try. Now, for some of you, you may know that I really, really do not want to learn how to do key bindings. And then you're going to be thinking maybe then how am I going to do the hydraulics? If you look at these things, they are slammed so low to the ground, but they're still usable because they have airbag suspension. I said hydraulics. I, I meant airbag suspension. You get the idea. That's where this thing comes into play because it has airbag suspension. This is going to be painful. I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually get this to work, but I'm going to give it a try. The first thing we're going to have to look at is unfortunately, even though most vehicles that are made into K trucks are Japanese, a lot more modern vehicles aren't. And really the only like Japanese truck, quote unquote, when I say truck, I mean American truck, which is a ute or a pickup for everywhere else is unfortunately, this is the only one and Hey, nobody is interested in seeing a slammed airbag frickin' pigeon. So in my backyard here, I have myself a vehicle, which I'm going to do it to myself. Now, this one's not like a, a small vehicle, but it is not a big truck. So I think this is going to work swimmingly. Oh, that's a lot of stuff in here that I don't need. First of all, we don't really need there to be any wide fenders so we can get rid of those. We also don't want the long body so we can get rid of that. And we don't want any of the rear cabin stuff because then that makes it not a truck. Oh, it's got all of the like hardcore stuff in here as well. Ah, uh, don't need any of these bumper bars. Oh my God, there is so much on this vehicle that we just don't need. And then there's like multiples upon multiples here that I can't even see the rest of the world. You know what? We're also going to lose this little bit of a lip here. So one of the big things that you do is you want to make it look as if it's as flush with the ground as possible. And one of the things is they chop this right along here. How, is that going to be easy? Uh, I mean, there is a bit of a sill here that we could have a look at, but that is just the entire cabin, is it? Great. So we want to cut the cabin, cut the fenders and cut this. So let's just quickly do that. Good. Seems to be only connect, uh, collecting the right parts. Uh, let's go ahead and just maybe delete it. Would that be too brash and forward of me? I think it might be. This panel doesn't line up perfectly. Oh wait, no, the door comes down to here. So if we just don't grab that, it should be fine. Reselect and then just delete that bottom line. That looks like it could work. So it looks like we've only modified like four things. And I'm gonna try this new technique I heard. This is control F2. After selecting everything, if I make this a suffix, I go new, good, everything just automatically renames. Then we're gonna re-export this. And now we have the files available to us. Next, we're gonna go with the body, which is it this? No, it looks like it'll be this one. Then we're gonna start changing slots to have mini in there for the fenders. This is gonna be the mini cab. Oh wait, no, mini truck. And the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put mini on there. I think that's, yeah, that's all we need here. Then let's grab fenders if we can find fenders. And I think we're gonna go fenders facelift because I do like the facelift a little bit more. Rename that, put the mini fenders on here and change this. Perfect. And now if we start putting on these new parts, body, regular cab, mini truck, we get, oh, 
That wasn't meant to happen. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Does it just not have the fenders selected? Front left fender, there we go. Late front fender, right fender, the, oh, no. Well, once again, that's still unfortunately. No, no, hold on. This side is cut, but this side isn't. W what is happening? They're even different. Late front left fender f what so the right side that's correct the left side oh i didn't put left on there sorry i sorry i meant i didn't put mini on there there we go now let's see just how low this can go we've got like independent front suspension probably the lowest option uh sport race medium lifted heavy duty bait okay let's go with race that's not very low spring height we can drop it eight centimeters great that's not even close to scraping yet you know what i was going for like a bit of a thing of it like being in the backyard but this is really hard to work with so instead I'm gonna work with it in the front yard. We're also still not really low enough. I think it's time to look at hydraulics. I haven't even started yet and I just know that this is going to be a pain in the butt. So looking at the city buses set up here, we have an airbag thing, which I don't fully understand how this works. We've got airbag beam data, uh, and then we've got this, which is also a thing I've never seen before. So these are the left side, and these are the right side, but I'm assuming one side doesn't move and the other side does. So how does this work? Uh, we got color factor, attack fact, what? Volume factor, decay, noise, pitch factor. I think this might be to do with the sound as it comes after the sound stuff. The other side doesn't have it. We have pressure PSI and surface and volume cough. I don't understand. Is this meant to be like how much size there is? Or is this still related to a sound file thing? I don't understand. So I think all I need from the J beam at least is this section. Now that we've got it in here, we should go ahead and change a few things. So for one, we're gonna copy city bus and replace all of it with pickup, since that seems to be common nomenclature. Then grab suspension rear, which should be in here somewhere. This is live axle rear suspension, good, okay. Then we're going to want spring, and that should go in here. Good. From the city bus, we're now gonna grab like input maps and lure. So what have we got in, uh, sure, I don't know what X, XI device is, we'll probably grab that. Then we've got under control, we got bomb and bus. Uh, so we've got doors open kneeling. That's gonna be the one we're gonna be looking at mostly. So we can just grab all of this. So let's grab these two, drag them in. I don't think we need the bomb ones so we can get rid of you. And then, this is probably not gonna work. I don't, I've not lined up any of the beams uh, and node names. Uh, rear sh rear spring, we have rear airbags. Let's see if that works. Okay, what is the chances that this is gonna work? Cargo doors, cargo feet. I think it was G, nope, okay, that's, yep, yeah, that's not doing what we want. Let's try relaunching and see if that fixes anything. And some weird things are happening. Interesting, oh, wait, hold on, nope, there we go, it's, Handbrake is not doing anything. Nothing is, everything is broken. Seriously, everything is broken. So we got can't find action, pick up default ride height and action lookup table. What the hell is that? Uh, can't find maximum, uh, am I gonna have to give up on the airbag suspension and just lower everything? I think I might have to. This is ridiculous. So let's go find input maps keyboard. Uh, toggle doors right out. Okay, so uh, how do we set this now? Let's search for where it shows up in keyboard input actions. Okay, so we need the input actions J beam. Uh, sorry, JSON. Sorry, diff different coding language. Input actions. I'm gonna drag you in. No, that's not into here. Into here. And actually, you know what, let's have a look. Oh my goodness, what am I looking at? Uh, okay, we've got some details in here we can use. 
Let's control L this to reload Lua, which should be the underlying issue here. And the suspension doesn't look like it's broken now. So G. G. Pressing G does nothing. Hmm. Probably no toggle doors thing. No. And no Jato. Yeah, so the Jato one can also go away. Jato doors goodbye. So let's have a look at the lure again. And we're just gonna leave pretty much everything here and only look at the airbag controller sections. If airbag controller, then M is kneeling, airbag control is beam, alt level is suspension raised, airbag controller, what? Oh my God, I don't understand lore at all. I just, so this is what I like about the J beam file, which is a modified version uh, of another language they made for themselves. Literally everything is fairly straightforward. So we got like a name here and that's not really uh, explained, but then you got information, you got author, name of the thing, which you have to figure out, uh, slot type. Once you figure out how slots work, that's all pretty simple. Then you've got all your slots in here. Uh, sound, uh, it is literally named cabin filter coefficient. So it's telling you what it is. Soundscape stuff, flex bodies, which is a bit silly. Should just be called like mesh bodies, but then they got mesh here. So that makes sense. Then nodes, that starts to make sense after a while. But then you've got like M is kneeling, uh, airbag controller is being like, what is M dot? What does that mean? I think, okay, I think we can drop this section. We don't need that. And I think we can also get rid of the end section. You know what? No, I'm, I'm too worried to remove anything. All I want to know is how the kneeling works. UI action input. So let's copy that and search the entire section here. See how many times this is called for once. It's only here. It's only called here. <laughs> why? This is why I hate this, this, this is why I don't do custom keybind stuff in BeamNG. Nothing is explained anywhere. There is no link. There is no connection from A to B. There is just like, hey, we got this bit of code here. Go fuck yourself. It has been hours. And I've given up, kind of. Before I go and just slam this thing, just by doing like the very easy slam sort of stuff that you can do, I've got one more trick that I only just realized I had up my sleeve. And that is this thing. If we just go over there, we already have hydraulics. So we could just use that. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. See, now just, Somehow I've got to get it into this. So, bus body that I've been working with. Yeah, you're gone. Uh, the guy next to you. You know what? We don't need you either. Remove car. Okay. Let's give this a try again. We've got a lot of the stuff in there already. Predominantly what we have is all that input and lure stuff. We just need to change where it's acting upon. Let's give it a try. This is the rollback section, which has everything that we need. Uh, I So we're just going to start... Grabbing things? I think we want to grab triggers, trigger event links, and events to start with. And then we get rid of this airbag stuff that we've put in and put that there. Oh, there's a lot here to look at. We'll, we'll get rid of the things we don't need. We'd like, we don't need extend feet uh, or extend or retract. We're just going to use tilt. We now go down. We don't need any of the props. We don't need lights or anything like that. Don't need flex bodies. Don't need nodes. Actually, we could just start to retract any rails and slide nodes. This is the part that we no longer need, but we'll have up just in case we need it. Then hydros we should grab. And that will go in about there. Perfect. And it's these two here, which I think we want to add the length to. I'm unclear. There does seem to be two rams here. And oh God, there's so many nodes and beams everywhere. God damn it. Ugh. Let's get rid of these toolboxes. Does that make it a bit easier to see? Yes, it does. Good. Back up again. Thank you. Oh, okay. We can actually see 
the slide nodes working. So unfortunately it does need to work upon slide nodes. Oh, that's lame. All right, so we already have slide nodes. I don't want to make more slide nodes. Slide nodes suck. The way the suspension stops from falling side to side is by having a, like a slide node down here somewhere. Default slide node is AX2 and it goes on to, so what? I think it's moving AX2 nodes, which is this one here. That one seems to be fairly solid and this one, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that moves across AXS, L and R, and LF3, L and R. So we have AXS here. Um, and that's it. Oh no, LF3. Oh, there's just a floating node here doing nothing. Hello, floating node. Oh, okay, that's a part of the slide node. So, okay, the, okay, we found them. That's one slide node. Uh, ASX is down here. And then AX2 moves up and down on that slide node. Perfect, so if we move... Eh. LF3 down. We can see that AX2R there stays in the middle. Make sense? So... We should now start looking at adding hydros to things. Mayhaps? So if we have a look at, uh, ooh, there is so much in here. Don't need props, don't need flex bodies. Yeah, all we want to do is tilt up, tilt down. Uh, we don't need extend retract, we already got rid of that. This doesn't call upon anything here. We have ev triggered events, trigger ID, triggers. So this is found only here. And then the label is here. And then the, wait, ID ref, ID X, ID Y and type. Then size, oh, you get the idea. We're gonna go into my version that we have now. It doesn't look like we have any sort of winch stuff so we can get rid of that. We're just gonna clean this up a little bit. CBX and CB, uh, so CBX4, CBX2, and CBX3. Oh, these are the, um, oh, I'm an idiot. No, these aren't actually what I need. These are just for our looks. What I want is the trigger events. So I suppose we could just ignore that for now. Trigger events, extend bed, extend feet, we don't need. And then events tilt up and tilt down. I think that should still work. Back in our one, we want this to be the correct part. So which node are we moving here? We are moving TF3. St stop. TF3. Uh, that is actually not one of the ones we're telling to move. We're telling to move TFR2 and TFR1. Uh, we have TFL4 here, TFR1, TFR... Oh, it's just either end. Ah, interesting. That makes some sense to somebody. So over here on this thing, we're going to want to extend the and retract the distance between this and this maybe? No, that's what it moves up and down upon. I can't remember. Okay, no, no, no. This does move independent of AXS. This is a part of the slide node and this is a part of the slide node. And AXS is not moving at all. And if we come all the way down here, and we're very close to this now, and we tell that to move again. Good, okay, We all we have to do is just tell them to move. AXSR and LF3R, and then the same over here. AXSL and LF. 3L. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, it immediately broke. Great. If we try to unpause, yeah, okay. Let's slow down time. Unpause, and then what goes wrong? Only a thousand times is too slow. Okay, that, there we go. That's what we want to see. That is, yes, good, okay, that is the things that I didn't want to have happen, yep, okay, the modified things break. F okay, so I should probably create a slide node between these two. 
Probably. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Let's just try using these. Like, there's already a beam between them. This probably couldn't hurt, so... LF1R and LE2R. Now, if we refresh... Oh, things are happening. Page up and page down are not actually doing anything. Why is page up and page down not working? Why? But at least there's something here. I don't... Hmm. Yes. Three hours later. I've done it. I've just been fettling away and... Holy cow, I did it. Uh, now you're not gonna see this very well, but uh, I've- this is jiggling because this is a part of the thing. I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on, let's go control and There we go. So, just basically pay attention to this. You can see it's going up a little bit. Maybe look at the aliasing. Uh, if I keep my mouse here, you'll see that it is slowly moving, but it is doing it. That is incredibly slowly though. Oh, so. I was able to get all of that to work. Uh, now I just want it to move faster. So hydraulics, is there like a out limit, in rate, out rate, input factor? I don't know what any of that means. I'm guessing in rate and out rate are the things we want to change. Let's increase the speed on this by quite a bit. Hopefully input factor is not an issue. Quick refresh here. And now with page up and page down, it's moving exactly the same. Let's change this to 10. Come back, and then page up, page down. That is still really, really slow. Why is it so slow? That's weird. And this is acting strange. But oh well, that, that's fine. And let's see, that is very high at the moment. So page down, wait, is it page down? No, I want page up. Page up and page down are inverted, but that's fine. Whatever. We've got our things happening now. If we hold shift, that go any faster? Nope. And that doesn't go very far. Frick. So it's this one down here that's shaking. I don't know why. So let's drop this down now. This should get closer to this node that's floating here. And then it will stop on its own. Hmm, that's not very far. Okay, so I was able to get these to stop shaking so much by just increasing their weight. But that unfortunately still hasn't changed the fact that this is moving really slow. One problem at a time. When in doubt, look at the very poorly made documentation. So we got in limit, defines the shortest hydro can become. So... Yeah, that should be a lot smaller. Let's go like 0.1. So, let's try dropping it down now. Will it go much further? Oh, that is going much further. Yeah, it's apparently doing damage now. <laughs> That's weird. So this, oh, you know what? It's probably that the axle is sitting on the frame itself. I don't see, okay, so what we have to do is look at the collision mesh, not the visible mesh. So let's turn the visible mesh off for now. Uh, okay, yeah, these bits here are touching the physical mesh. Hmm, that is... No, that's not touching. Not touching at all. Either way, that's pretty cool. That's worked out relatively well. Now all I have to do is change the speed. So in rate, uh, in rate, how fast the hydro contracts and how fast the hydro expands. Doesn't seem to be any sort of detail on how fast this can be though. And has that affected our range at all? It doesn't look like it good. Okay. God, that goes a long way down. But that's fantastic. And now, let's see how much this drops and see if it drops to a... Wow, it doesn't go very low. Damn. That sucks. Though, still, this is really cool. And keep in mind that the suspension does work. Kind of. Sure, it'll do. The next day... All right, I'm done. I don't care. This is not gonna probably get approved to go onto the repository, so it'll probably just end up as a forum post. So go onto my profile on BMNG and check it out. I'll try to put a link to it in the description of the video when this goes live. Because I'm done! One of the things that I ended up eventually doing was doing to the front what I did to the rear, except it works a little bit better because there's only one mount, whereas this has two mounts. So when I drop it, you can see it drops down, and then the back uh, still struggles to go all the way down. And then, yeah, I don't 
understand why the bottom, why the rear won't go, whatever. But as it is, it dries and it scrapes like what you'd expect from a mini truck. Uh, really, the most important thing about a mini truck is you're doing it to show off. But I'm playing single player. Why don't I have somebody to show off to? I'm coming from behind. Okay. Okay. This sounds like... Not a lot of horsepower. <laughs> no! <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, let me guess. It's a straight six, maybe? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna look. <laughs> what? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. What is this? Okay, wait. so... Look at it's... it very closely, specifically wait. the height of the vehicle, and then watch it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. The, the... What? How is this driving? How is it turning? Oh my god. With, with wait, great did... difficulty. Did you want there to bring out your this... own version? It's a D-series, basically. I mean, yeah, yeah. At first I thought it would be like a Holden or something, because Australia and New Zealand, but... <laughs> no, unfortunately. Like, there's a culture. This is There's a culture of scraping asphalt. I don't know, it's called dragging or something. So these things are, um... It's meant to be a mini truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like S10s and stuff like this. I just noticed that the bed is not really aligned with the rest. Is this on purpose? Uh... It's 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 struggling. Oh no no no! no. The, the right side is aligned. The left side is not. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I suppose know. I've only been looking at it from the other angle. I don't know why that's happened. <laughs> do you see it on your screen? Because yeah, I do. That's weird. I don't understand that one. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, how do I lower it? No. Page up and Shift page and... down. So it's oh, inverted. Okay. Page up to go down. Oh, I see. I see. And then you just got to keep it's holding it. And you're about as low as you're gonna go. Oh, okay. Let's do a launch. Oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I've had- I apparently oh, I haven't limited it enough, but, uh, I have limited the steering, so then it won't, uh, turn quite- Oh, you know what? No. I just haven't put the steering on. No steering oh, I've got- yeah. I've got, uh, normal steering. Hold on. Uh, go- to put on slammed steering slammed in the part steering. selector and okay. now you'll have realistic steering for a vehicle oh, like this yeah, 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 yeah. and it still clips <laughs> i mean oh my god it's oh like, my. no 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 never mind. Never mind. it's tricky oh my god this is like <laughs> you turn the wheel so much and it barely moves oh my god this is the opposite of the <laughs> angle kick oh dear oh wait got a cute event for you now there we go so, yeah, this is, um, <laughs> this is what I've Get been spending jump. probably about 12 hours on today. <laughs> the, the, the suspension itself and the steering, I assume. And oh, the yeah. body that is not aligned to the game. Learning how to do the hydros to get it to go up and down was a real pain in the butt cheeks. Oh, we both had the same idea to handbrake it, but I didn't go <laughs> quite so well. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get a bigger engine in then so we can do that. I don't know if a bigger engine will fit, but let's go the 6.9 liter. <laughs> yeah, this, and this would be cherry, something smaller, yeah. Yeah. Imagine, yeah. Then a it's rear great. differential. Let's go a, uh, a locking rear differential. All right. Now we'll do a donut. No. <laughs> Wait, the, the hood doesn't open like fully. <laughs> That's also funny. I th that should be standard. I didn't, I didn't touch really? a thing there. Okay. No. Nah. It doesn't want to do donuts. Alright. We might have to be a little bit higher to be able to pull that off. Oh my god. <laughs> I got it. I got it. No, no, oh, mind. no. Sorry. Yeah. There's a slight possibility that I haven't done a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> At what? At making this a bird like a donut machine. <laughs> yeah. Everything else is pretty cool. And there are people out there that do this in real life and. I Seemingly. respect them for this. The oh, one thing I, I forgot to do, though, is I forgot to remove the door handle and uh, do what's called a shave door handle. Aside from that, this is pretty much done. I might try to find out why the side of the bed, though, is kinked up a little bit. I don't... I don't get that one, but yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. 
The problem was traction control was turned on. Who would have thought? Oh, you're right. There does we go. Even, does it even need traction control? I mean, let's go to highway speeds and see uh, what happens. You know, when you get up to speed, the sucky steering angle, not so bad. Yeah, more precise. Oh, no, right. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my okay. god, that was quite the incident. <laughs> okay, now let's take five minutes to turn around here and this is the race. Oh, oh, I, I'm, I didn't want to reverse. Nah. nah. Alright, so what are we doing? We're just doing a top speed run? Top speed and then uh, if we re if we even right. reach top speed, let's well, drop. <laughs> I'm dropping it all the way down. I'm gonna do it while driving at higher speeds to see what happens. Oh, you're gonna do it whilst driving? Oh dear, yes, you know what? You, you start off with that, I'm gonna start at lowest. Right. Eh. Is there even a highest setting for this? Uh, no, it's pretty much like low and lower. Oh, uh, okay. okay. It, it has the ability to lift up for uh, speed humps, that's about it. You, yeah, you can say it's active arrow. Basically, <laughs> you remove the ground effect. <laughs> no, you increase it, I think. I don't know. Something like I'm that. I'm not Adrian Newey. You what? Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Adrian Newey, the Red Bull Aerodynamics. Oh, Adrian Chief Newey. Guy. Yeah, I know that yeah, guy. I'm at rotation. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Yeah, yeah. One button, I'm dropping it, I'm dropping you it. You do tend to lose speed when you're scraping, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I know this. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lift up a little bit. Okay, nothing happens. I'm just... I, I, I'm understeering. I'm like I'm literally... The wall. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, I cannot even spin out. <laughs> the, uh... Bye, bye. What do you mean? Okay. okay. The, the, the front does tend to, uh lift off the ground when you've uh, gone full low. Mm, I wonder why. All right. But so out of 10, how close to 10 do you give me on this mod? Uh, in terms of what? Uh, what out of 10, like how, how cool am I for making... Oh, sorry. How cool is the vehicle for being made by okay. me? Okay, so a big plus point is that it's bright yellow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, okay, full honesty, there's a big culture of people that love this type of modification. I am personally not one of them, but if I, if I would be one of these people, then this would be a 10 out of 10, because there is no other mod that can do this. And this one works pretty well. Yeah. As, I, aside from the gauges, of course. It needs a little bit of fixing, but for a quick mod job, it's pretty good, I would say. Yeah, I mean... I'm not into mini trucking either. I did this so then I could see what it's like to be a mini trucker for a day without having to actually buy a mini truck or make a mini truck. Yeah, yeah. And uh, okay. I gotta say, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it, but I respect it. I respect everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Though. Like, if, if you put this much time and effort into your passion, yeah, there's respect given. Well, thanks everyone for watching. If you have liked this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but for now, I'd like to thank my channel members, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thank you, channel members. Yeah, thanks, channel members. <laughs>